Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel 100 Ideas. Swimming pools are the ultimate insertion in a backyard design. Even if they sound a bit luxurious and probably unaffordable, the amount of relaxation and recreation achieved by having such an extension to your home will always outweigh the costs. Before talking about where a pool should be fitted or how it should look like, you should always consider its functionality. And the first question you should ask yourself is why do you want a swimming pool? Will you use it for exercising or relaxating? Will you have enough space left for other activities or just for the pool? Will you use it so much that it will cover its cost or could you make down do without it? How will you tread the rest of the landscape? Will you have enough time for maintenance or you'll have to have someone paid to do it for you? And there are still many things to be considered. To sum up, before rushing into acquiring a pool, try to foresee all the aspects of owning one so that you wouldn't end up with a lot of money spent for something that nobody uses likes or takes care of. When all these questions are answered, you can start looking for examples in magazines and on the internet, and considering that you've done your homework, have all the answers and know exactly what you're looking for, now it will be much easier to find inspiration because you know what to look for. Aspects regarding the location of your pool Probably the most important decision you have to make regarding your new swimming pool is where it will be located. This is where you should start. First of all, think about its size. How big do you want it to be? When trying to estimate its location, always have in mind its shape too. Will it be regular and curvy, or maybe straight, taking the shape of rectangular or maybe just a square? Size and shape can vary, but they are always in a permanent relationship with the pool's purpose. If you want to exercise and swim instead of going to the gym, then it should probably have a great length so that you would have enough space to swim. If you agreed upon its size and shape, placing it is the next step. Naturally, this decision varies from side to side because each backyard has its own specifics like size, proportions and the position of the house. But there are some tips that can help anyone decide where to place the pool. First of all, you need to study the amount of sunlight your backyard gets and where does the sun shine the most. The sun is a great factor because it is directly linked to the activity of swimming. No one swims in a cloudy day because there is no pleasure to it and most people like to get a tan while or after swimming. But who knows, maybe you don't want any sunlight or the area you live in is so hot that you want your pool to be shaded to cool off better. Either way, you need to study this aspect and make a little sketch to organize your thoughts. The second thing you need to consider is safety especially if you have children. If you do, make sure that you can always keep an eye on them, unless you want to have to stay beside them until they finish swimming. Then there is the depth of the pool. The best thing to do is to design in such a way that they can play safely, but you can enjoy it too. And this means that the depth will vary and the kids will play and swim in the shallow area while the adults can relax in the deeper area of the pool. The third most important aspect of your pool's location is its relationship with the rest of the house. Think about it. You will spend much more time looking at it when swimming in it. And that's why a pool becomes part of the design of your entire home. It is a big element that influences both exterior and interior attributes of your house. There are many more things that require your attention, but I will only mention two more. The first is the ease of access, which is important because it can enhance or decrease your desire to use the pool and so its quality and its value. This also includes the materials used for the pathway to the pool, which you should carefully choose so that it won't be slippery and so reduce the probability of unwanted accidents. 
The last aspect regards installations and utility lines. If you carefully plan your pools so that you won't have to move any existing utility lines, you will save some money. Aspects regarding the shape of your pool A pool's shape is greatly influenced by its position. There are two main categories. Pools that are placed near the house and pools that are placed farther out in the backyard. Why is it important? Because if a pool is close to a construction, then it becomes its extension and annex and should take after it, resembling its style and shape. If it is positioned somewhere in the back of the yard, then it becomes an independent element that can take any shape and focus the activity of a family around it. Mainly, there are two large categories of swimming pool shapes – rectangular, ones which are the most common and are characterized by straight lines, but not necessarily, but 90 degrees, angles and curved pools, which can take any shape you like and can easily mold after the rest of your yard, following, for example, the excess paths or other amenities. Most popular curved shapes are the kidney shape, the figure 8 and the feet form. When deciding upon the shape of your pool, always bear in mind that pathways are more important than the pool itself and that you don't want it to become an inconvenient. Think about the other activities that might take place in your backyard and try to imagine how they will relate to your swimming pool. The end result should satisfy every need and every activity should be able to be performed independently. We hope this video was useful to you. Like it, write your comments and subscribe to our channel.